In this tutorial, we are going to solve some problem related to continuous third tank fermenter. I already showed you how to calculate uh, or how to how to obtain the substrate concentration, your microbial concentration, productivity in continuous third tank fermenter. So we are going to use some of those formula to get some nice param some 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 numbers related to continuous third tank fermenter. So I'm going to give you some data, and you are going to use whatever you learned or. From, from while you are deriving the, the productivity in batch fermenter or even continuous state tank fermenter so probably we will i will solve four to five problems so these are essential for your final exams yeah so so i'm not going to ask the exactly the same questions but you should know if if i give some number you should know how to use it and design or perform your mass balance in a in a cstf or in a batch batch reactor so these are the things you should know so I will try to solve one very simple problem. First, I will read the problem. So if you read, half of the answer will be there. So, so calculate the steady state substrate. So, <clears throat> and the biomass concentration. So I already stated that your system is at steady state and you have to calculate what will be the, your substrate and your biomass concentration in a CSTF. So you are operating a CSTF, something goes in, something goes out and then the system already reached the steady state and we need to calculate what's your substrate concentration what's your microbial concentration and the operating volume is 25 liters and the sterile feed stream contains your substrate concentration 2000 milligrams per liter so something <coughs> that goes inside that has this substrate of concentration 2000 milligrams per liter and it enters the reactor at a rate of 8 liters per hour 8 liters per hour and then I gave you some some Michaelis Menten kinetic constants so sorry monod constants Ks and mu m so these values Ks is equal to 10.5 milligrams per liter and your maximum or sorry your uh, your specific growth rate is equal to 0.45 1 by r so you can assume the yield coefficient any number or here i gave the number yield coefficient is a constant and this is equal to 0.48 so what you need to calculate is your substrate concentration and your microbial concentration both at steady state so i already derived the expression so for substrate concentration is the what's the value so what's the equation we derived so dks and mu m minus d I, did, I showed you how to get this number so you have your um, how can we say you have your mu m value you have your ks value i already gave you so you need dilution factor so dilution factor is nothing but so by volume so, so this is equal to i already gave what's the flow rate which is eight liters per hour i think yes so divided by what's the volume mm, 25 liters so little little gets cancelled so eight by 25 one by r that should be equal to 0.32 one by r so this is your dilution factor all you need is to substitute in this expression so s will be equal to 0 0.32 multiplied by your ks 10.5 and then your maximum sorry your specific growth rate will be 0 0.45 minus your dilution factor is 0 0.32 so pay attention to the units so, so this one will give something milligrams per liter yeah? And then you need to calculate your um, your microbial concentration at steady state. You already derived the expression. I hope you all remember this one. Yield is equal to x minus x zero divided by s zero minus s. So we, you have all of these values. All you need to calculate is the yield. So yield is equal to, yield is 0 0.4, sorry, yeah, all you need is to calculate is the x value. So yield is 0.48, x. 
I said sterile feed, so which means this should be 0. So x minus 0 divided by your initial concentration is 2000 minus S value is 0.25.8 so if you have this value you can easily calculate so this will be your final substrate concentration because this is at steady state so at steady state your final substrate concentration is 25.8 which means you consumed a massive amount of your substrate so 25.8 2000 minus 25.8 whatever the value you get so that will be your microbial concentration at steady state <coughs> i think that's it this problem is really simple i'm going to stop the recording and then i will try to solve it maybe one, one more problem and then i'm going to solve one more problem in adsorption i know i didn't teach you adsorption but while solving the problem i will tell how to what's an adsorption technique and how it works and how to how to how to design a batch adsorption unit yeah, for uh, something relevant to your your model which is batch process engineering sorry bioprocess engineering yeah. thanks for listening <laughs>